thank you for joining today. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload another video. We do a little bit of everything here and we are doing Vlogmas. I'm going to try to do as many of these as I can. I can't promise I'm going to have something every day, but I'm going to try really hard. Uh, I am a full-time working mom and I work outside of the home. Uh, so sometimes we're a little busy. Sometimes it's pretty boring. It's just this, driving to work, dropping the kid off, going to work, coming home, cooking dinner. So, uh, you know, but uh, in vlog number one, this is vlog number two. Vlog number one, um, actually it's going up. It should already be up, so it should be up on the second. Uh, me and my family, I didn't do any kind of intro. So, uh, and I'm not speaking in it anywhere. I guess I could have voiced over, but... Um, we went to the ice exhibit in the Gaylord Texan Hotel. I can't even see, y'all. It's so black. I go between putting my glasses on and taking them off. But it's in the Gaylord Texan Hotel. So if you are not in um, Texas or in the DFW area, you're not familiar, it is an absolutely gorgeous hotel. They do this ice exhibit every year. They fly in these, um, I don't know how to forget the word of it, but they're ice artist, right? Um, and so they have created an entire exhibit out of ice this year that is the Peanuts Gang. I hope y'all can see me. That is the, uh, that bus is not helping. Okay, we're gonna try that. Uh, so it's a Peanuts, like Snoopy and Charlie Brown and all that, uh, out of ice. So it is really cool. So if you have not seen it, I will link it, um, at the very end of this video um, and also I'll try to put it down below so go check it out also the Gaylord Texan Hotel is just an absolutely gorgeous hotel um, it is set up to look like different parts of Texas there's a river walk there's like the Alamo phase there's you know like an oil derrick and there's all sorts of stuff and they go all out for decorations it is free to walk through that part of the hotel you do have to pay for the parking lot but um, that part of the hotel is free to walk through. There's restaurants, though they seem a little crazy, but there's restaurants. Um, the ice exhibit, you can find a really good deal, I think, on Groupon or somewhere or with the, with the code. Um, I think we paid $15 a person to go to this. Um, I think with tax, it was close to 20 so it was uh, it was awesome. That's what we did Thanksgiving night instead of going out and doing the uh, Black Friday or Great Thursday or Black Thursday or whatever it is. Doing that shopping, there was a few places I thought I wanted to go, but just nothing really jumped out. Like um, you know, I absolutely have to go out. I really really enjoyed spending the time with my family uh, all day Thursday and not doing the shopping. I did enjoy it. Um, did maybe I miss a few things? galvanized buckets that has a Christmas decoration on it at Walmart. I posted on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, why not? It is free. It is faithfamily.fashion. Follow me over there because we all know lots of stuff is going on with YouTube and for some reason, someday you don't ever see me here 
or you can't find my videos, I will be over there um, trying to actually communicate more, do little short little uh, clips and videos. I do have a TikTok. Um, I don't do a whole lot over there yet. Just been kind of playing around with it. Did do a short little video of our ice exhibit over there. So you can find me, same name over there, Faith Family Fashion. Um, it's just fun to, to, to create the little short videos over there. It's lots of fun for me. Um, so yeah, so all of that, and I got myself sidetracked again. But um, I'm putting the tree up in stages. He's not been left alone. He has a Thor, my German Shepherd. He's about to turn a year old. He has a bad habit of when I'm gone, he eats my holiday decorations. All of my pumpkins that were foam that were very cool. They were awesome and blinged out. And one was um, burgundy with lots of beading on it. And one was gold with lots of glitter. He's eaten all of those. I don't have any of those anymore. He gets mad that he's alone because of his uh, bone problems. I can't put him in a cage because he's got to be able to move around. Um, if he messes with my tree too much, I'm just going to lock him in the bathroom. But, uh, so I've halfway decorated it. I put balls on it. It's lit. Um, so we're going to see if he eats any of them today. He honestly hasn't. He's went over and sniffed it once. But he never messed with any of the other stuff when I was at home either. So we'll see. But yeah, the galvanized bucket. I thought that would, um, oh, just pull on out and don't look. I thought that would be good. One, I kind of like it. It's a really cute look. And if I was going to, if I was going to decorate the tree um, in like the uh, woodland theme or the buffalo check theme, that would look awesome with it. I've considered actually blinging out my bucket, but I'm not going to this year. I'm just going to leave it the way it is this year if I decide to do that because my colors on my tree are white and silver and I do little pops of red. So that it is very blingy and sparkly. So that's my tree. Uh, for the last couple of years, I really like it. I keep adding more to it every year. Um, I've not put any ribbon on it because he does have a habit of grabbing ribbon. But I put some weights, some hand weights down in the bottom of the bucket. And then I just put some throw pillows that I'm not using around the base of the tree inside the bucket to make it stand up. And I figured that would be, it's less likely for him to knock the tree over if he does go grab something. As opposed to that little plastic tree stand for the fake trees, you know what I mean? I'll try to insert a picture. Hey friends, welcome back to Faith Family Fashion. How is everyone doing? It is dinner time and I am making something called cheeseburger soup. So this is a new recipe for me. I'm trying it out and let me show you how I'm making it. Okay, so just to recap. <laughs> This is supposed to be a crock pot meal, and your girl didn't see crock pot when she was reading it. But we're going to do it on the stove top. So what I have is a pound of ground beef, two russet potatoes chopped, a stalk of celery, a carrot chopped, and half of a onion chopped. I have two cups of chicken stock in here. I've got some basil, some salt, and pepper. Um, I think that's about it. I think you're supposed to add in some parsley. I think I'm out. I'm going to look and see, but then you're supposed to add that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this simmer until these potatoes get soft, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of it. So I think it's supposed to be a pretty hearty, kind of thick soup, because I, I, I instinctively want to kind of add more broth in this, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow the directions. I can always add more broth later. So, uh, in, in fact, we're going to thicken it up here in a little bit. So, I'm going to let this cook, let these potatoes soften up, put a lid on this, and just let it simmer, and we will come back and check on it in just a little bit. Okay, if y'all can see for the steam, the potatoes are soft. Break them up with a spoon. See, really soft. Here is the rest of our characters. I do have... Um, some Velveeta cheese, so we have a cup, so half of this block, the other half, I'm gonna make me some nachos. Um, I've got three quarters of a cup of milk. It called for, um, I'm using 2%, it called for five ounces. I don't have my glass measuring cup, so I'm using three quarters. I think eight ounces is a cup, four ounces is half a cup, five ounces, gotta be about three quarters of a cup. And then also we have our cornstarch water slurry. So, I'm gonna put the rest of this in there and we're gonna see what happens. Ooh, it's 
growing. So we're going to add in our cheese. You can also use cheddar. I love the way Velveeta melts and it just sounded good in a soup. So I'm going to stir this around, let this melt, turn it down low, and uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like, y'all. All right, y'all, here it is. Now, I'm going to be honest, I added in a handful of cheddar cheese because this had a very strong potato soup flavor. Nick does not like potatoes, potato soup especially. But this is cheeseburger soup. Let me bowl it up. There we go. A little cheeseburger wouldn't be a cheeseburger without some dill pickles, right? So we got a little dill pickle chopped up on top. This is it. Cheeseburger soup. Let me know what you think. If you give it a try. Y'all have a good night. Remember to stop and thank God for today because it truly is a gift. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.